Good evening once again. In this day and age of tight budgets for everyone, many western New York towns and villages are trying to get creative when it comes to raising money without raising your taxes. But that drive to find more cash could end up costing you in the long run if you attend events at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps has more tonight on a new proposal to charge some new fees for parking and tickets. The fairgrounds in Hamburg are home to all kinds of events, including the Festival of Lights, the Buffalo Raceway, and of course, the Erie County Fair. They've got events going on 52 weeks a year, seven days a week. Bringing in millions of people. Just the 12 days of the fair is 1.2 million. The fairgrounds are run by the Erie County Agricultural Society, which has a specific mission. Our main goal is to educate the public about agriculture and where their food comes from. Because of that mission, the Agricultural Society does not have to pay property taxes on most of the fairground property. And it's been that way for some time. We're closing in on uh, 200 years, so it's been, uh, it's been quite a while. But there is part of the fairgrounds that is taxed, and that starts right about here by Pegasus Restaurant. It continues all the way down South Park Avenue to this access road. Altogether, that's about 12 acres of taxable land, but the town supervisor says Hamburg needs some more help. In order to maintain services and to afford a quality of life for all of our people, we need to look at potential new sources of revenue. One council member is suggesting surcharges on event tickets and parking. The Ag Society says it's open to discussion. I think we have to be. I mean, the town is going to coexist with us and we're going to coexist with the town. And we want to be good neighbors and good partners, but we need to have those conversations. The Ag Society does a lot of great things for us, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have no financial obligation to the community as a whole. Both sides will meet in the next week to begin talks on a possible solution. We'll keep you updated. In Hamburg, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.